Sounds like another Mexican player may also soon be leaving the Eredivisie, but not for MLS, instead for the Premier League. Of course, we're talking Santiago Jimenez, who's currently uh, at Feyenoord, but was spotted this weekend in London at the North London Derby, Arsenal and Spurs, both of whom he's been linked to. Uh, this, of course, a couple days after his agents met with representatives of AC Milan in Italy. Herc, what do you think is a better landing spot for Santi? Spurs or AC Milan? Woo! You know, this was a talk we had, a segment we did about maybe two, three months ago. And I had mentioned how my dream spot for him would have been Spurs. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you recall that. Uh, you love the style. Of I Spurs. love the style that Ancha proposes, what he tries to play. It's mm -hmm. fast. It's in your face. It's reckless. Uh, it's, it's a little bit naive at times. It is, it is naive. But as a forward, reckless. I guess, who cares? Right. And if you're a forward that it is dynamic, like I think Santi Jimenez is, uh, you can do very well in a situation like that. If you are put in, in situations to succeed, I think the system just suits him better. I also think everybody wins here. Uh, you're getting a forward that maybe sits or fits the piece of the puzzle that you're looking for. A dynamic forward who's goal dangerous, mm -hmm. who gets in behind, who can play multiple positions in that front line. Uh, and, and also for Santi, it's a great level, the Premier League, but not necessarily the team at that toxic level where you need immediately. Wow, I don't know about that. I think Spurs, you oh. know, I think Spurs Would is you put a it at the high. Oh. Yeah, they're a big six club in London, man. Yeah, but it's not as toxic if you look at other clubs like your United, uh, Barcelona. Toxic uh, or not, pressure and Im an sure. immediate need to score. Sure. If he goes to Spurs or AC Milan. Here's the thing with and, AC Milan. With you're giving, big, me, you're giving the, me these two. So here's yeah, the thing I'm with AC Milan. Two. Stefano Pioli, all signs point to he's gone. He is out. Right. So you're going in a situation where you don't even know who the coach is. You're, you're trying to bank on them rebuilding this club to fight in Serie A uh, without knowing who the manager is, without knowing the style, right. without even knowing if this manager counts on you or not. Uh, and what is, I would say, not the most sure of things if you're a nine right now. Joe Valich, uh, uh, who was there, um, the guy who was at uh, Frankfurt and then went to... Mm -hmm. Jovic, yeah. Jovic, excuse me, uh, Frankfurt and, and then to Real Madrid. We see the lack of time that he has had there at AC Milan. They depended on Oliver Giroud, and rightfully so. You know, 36 years old or not, he was scoring goals. But it's more of a volatile position, if you want that nine spot, without even knowing what you're walking into. I, I would opt for Spurs, and especially because it's the Premier League. Uh, I'm sure it's a league that maybe suits him a little bit more with the style of uh, how Spurs play. So the question really here for me is, is he going to be a starter, like a guaranteed starter? And so when I look at both of these clubs, yeah. they fit into the category of I'm not sure. Right. Um, these, these are very big clubs, very big leagues, lots of pressure. This is not that middle step to go from Feyenoord to, no. a, to a team where you know they're getting Santi to be the guy and he's going to have a leash because they don't really have other options. There's going to be other good choices at, at either of these clubs. For me... There's a case to be made here for Milan, and it's actually a little bit about what you're talking about, but I'm going to flip it. If it was Pioli, and we're going to talk about how AC Milan looks in big games, and we've talked about it a lot on the show because we watch for Pulisic, we watch for Musa. If it was Pioli staying, I would say, no, no, don't, don't stay. But I look at AC Milan, I look at how Pulisic did arriving in Syria, how well his first season went. Right. Yunus Musa, obviously not as good of a season as Pulisic, but exceeded our expectations. I could see at AC Milan, Santiago Jimenez getting there and doing well much more likely than I could at a club like Spurs, where you've got one, I think, more competition. You've got Son who can play through the middle. You've still got Richarlison who's on contract, I think, for at least another two or three years at Spurs. Yeah. At Milan, that, that opening's there. And the fact that you don't know who's going to be the next manager, if it's the right guy, I don't mind Syria because to me, Syria is still a notch below the Premier League. I agree. And that's, and that's I think, you know, that there might be some games in Syria where Santi can can maybe get a foothold in and then start to grow. And that's Whereas fair. in the Premier League, I, I don't agree think with there's you, that But as a, as a player heading into a situation that you don't know, mm -hmm. like if your goal is to play regardless of the level that you want to play, you want a situation where you think you'll have an opportunity, how could you bank on going somewhere where there's no coach, where there's no certainty of who the coach will be or who, yeah. what that style will be or where you fit into those plans? I think that's the most important thing for Santi Jimenez. You look at Spurs on the other side, sure, the level is harder, but if a team like Spurs is looking for you, and this is another thing, is a transfer fee. Right. You best bet that transfer fee is going to be a little higher than what we've heard about this 40 million or 30 million. That's going to be a lot higher. Mm -hmm. uh, so I don't mind it as much if I'm Santi, a situation that I know, a coach that I trust, a, a level that I think is good, a team that plays more of my brand instead of 
heading into the uncertainty of AC Milan. You know who's putting in the work right now in the Santiago Jimenez camp? The agent. Yes. We, see him, we see him at a game where Her. he's been linked to both teams. Yeah. And now we've seen his, what, family and crew in yes. Milan. So everybody who's not talking to Santiago Jimenez right now probably feels like they're behind in the yeah. pursuit. She, she's been busy, man. Yep. And, and Santi Jimenez, his father, has been very instrumental in his career, uh, almost playing a manager-like role. Mm -hmm. So the agent, she and her, or his father have been uh, everywhere with the, uh, trust me, it's been Sevilla that they've been to, Seville, yep. uh, last season, and now it's uh, Milan and uh, London. So we'll see where he goes. Picking up those frequent flyer miles as they try to move Santiago Jimenez elsewhere in Europe.